have a lot of visitors at the Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area and Obed Wild and Scenic River, including hikers, bikers, horseback riders, kayakers, hunters, and many more. And increasing bear numbers have increased bear viewing opportunities for park visitors. Although bear numbers are continuing to increase, the parks have had minimal bear problems, primarily due to proactive efforts at bear education, establishment of bear-proof trash cans and recycling containers, and food storage enforcement. The Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area and Obed Wild and Scenic River have hunting in their enabling legislations. However, the parks have not been open to bear hunting. Bear hunting on the Cumberland Plateau, adjacent to Big South Fork, began in 2013 for two counties in Kentucky and in 2014 for five counties in Tennessee. Black bears are naturally secretive and shy. They have no desire to interact with people and are instinctively afraid of humans. But if you do encounter a black bear while recreating in the park, don't become alarmed. If it's foraging for natural food, simply stand still, remain quiet, and just take advantage of the rare opportunity. But don't approach the bear, don't throw food to the bear, because a fed bear is a dead bear, and also don't let the bear approach you. If your presence causes the bear to change its behavior, such as if it stops feeding or if it changes direction, then you're too close. Now, being too close may promote aggressive behavior by the bear, including running towards you, making loud noises, or swatting the ground with its paw. The bear is demanding more space. So don't run, simply back away while watching the bear. However, if the bear persistently follows you or approaches you without vocalizing or without swatting the ground with its paw, then change your direction. If the bear continues to follow you, then stand your ground. You can talk loudly or shout back at the bear. Act aggressively to intimidate the bear. Make yourself look as tall and as large as possible. You can even throw things at the bear, but do not turn your back on the bear and do not run from the bear. You need to be what we call bear aware. And we have bear wise stickers on trash cans located throughout the park. If you do encounter a bear and if it becomes aggressive or if it fails to leave after your attempts to scare it away, then just leave the area and report the incident. If it's after hours, call the Resource Protection Hotline at 423-569-2404, extension 3505. The thing is, bears have a really well-developed and keen sense of smell. Most likely, they'll smell you before you ever see them and they'll just leave the area. But if you do have a wildlife emergency situation, call 911. Anything else, please contact resource management or law enforcement at the park. And while recreating in the park, bear pepper spray may be carried for protection against aggressive wildlife. It should be labeled as bear pepper spray and registered with the EPA. Bear pepper spray should contain between 1 and 2% capsaicin or related capsaicin oils. 